Hi there, great to have you with us today. My name's Gavin. And I'm Joanna. And I'm Lucy. Well, folks, we've heard lots and lots about who Jesus is over the past few weeks. Today, we're going to read about God telling us very clearly. But first, my friends are going to help to remind us about all the things we've discovered from the book of Luke. So take it away, pals. God said, you are my beloved son. With you, I am well pleased. Jesus was tempted, but did not sin. Jesus is who the prophets pointed to. Jesus cast out demons and healed people. He took and called disciples to follow him. He healed a man with leprosy and a man who couldn't walk was healed and forgiven. Jesus taught many, many people. He healed a servant even without being there. He brought a boy back to life. So pointing to him. He forgives sin. <laughs> he told parables. He can the dawn. He freed a man from many demons. A woman was healed and the girl raised from the dead. He gave his disciples a job. He fed a huge crowd with just five rolls and two fish. God said, this is my son, my chosen one. Listen to him. Thanks guys for all your help. That was really great. So today we're going to read from Luke chapter 9 and we're going to start at verse 28 and we're going to go all the way down to verse 36. So off we go. You got your Bibles ready? Now, about eight days after these sayings, he took with him Peter and John and James and went up on the mountain to pray. And as he was praying, the appearance of his face was altered and his clothing became dazzling white. And behold, two men were talking with him, Moses and Elijah, who appeared in glory and spoke of his departure which he was about to accomplish at Jerusalem. Now, Peter and those who were with him were heavy with sleep. But when they became fully awake, they saw his glory and the two men who stood with him. And as the men were parting from him, Peter said to Jesus, Master, it is good that we are here. Let us make three tents, one for you and one for Moses, and one for Elijah, not knowing what he said. As he was saying these things, a cloud came and overshadowed them, and they were afraid as they entered the cloud. And a voice came out of the cloud, saying, This is my son, my chosen one. Listen to him. And when the voice had spoken, Jesus was found alone. And they kept silent and told no one in those days anything of what they had seen. Thanks very much for reading that, Joanna. It's so important to read exactly what the Bible says. But not just hear it. We need to make sure we know what it says, that we understand it. So let's have a quick summary of what we just heard. Jesus and three of his best friends, Peter, James and John go up on a mountain. When they were there, Jesus seemed to change. He dazzled, he saw his appearance changed. And Moses and Elijah, they're two guys you can read about in the Old Testament that lived loads of years before. Somehow they appear with Jesus on the mountain and they were there talking with Jesus. Now meanwhile, Peter, James and John, they're a bit sleepy. In fact, they're very, very sleepy. I don't know if you ever get like that, where you just kind of nod off. They were like that. Um, but when they woke up properly, 
they saw this amazing sight of Jesus being different of Moses and of Elijah. And then, and it wasn't even in Scotland, a cloud came down and covered all the people. They couldn't really see, like, really misty, cloudy, and it covered and surrounded them. And they heard a voice speaking. It wasn't Peter. It wasn't James. It wasn't John. The voice said, This is my son, my chosen one. Listen to him. It was God speaking about Jesus. And then the cloud disappeared. Moses and Elijah were gone. And they saw Jesus by himself. Wow, that's amazing. So really we see here how God spoke clearly to the people around that were watching and told clearly who Jesus was. A big voice from heaven, no mistake, super obvious. And he said to those who were there and to us to listen to Jesus. Of course, of course they listened. They were there, they could hear him. Mm, well, I know they heard him. But did they actually listen? Because sometimes there's a difference. We're going to have a look about that just now. I'm going to water the grass now, Noah. I'm going to water the grass now, Noah. Okay. Whoops, poor Noah. Okay guys, so you can see there, the first time Noah heard what Emily said, it changed what he was going to do. It made him act. He actually listened. He didn't just hear, he listened. It affected what he did next. The second time, not so much. He said, yeah, sure, okay. But he didn't actually really listen. It didn't make any difference to what he did. And he turned out soaking wet. And for us, knowing who Jesus is, is super important. But we need to put that into practice, not just have something in our heads that Jesus is God's son, but know that and let that affect the things that we do. Now we are called to trust and to follow Jesus. Or as it's put in our reading today, to listen to him, to listen, to hear and do what Jesus says. Now, if we do that, it will change our lives. It will change the things that we do, the things that we say. And even more brilliantly, it means that we are part of God's family if we trust in Jesus and are one of his followers. Have we chat with that in your family, with the folks that are around about you? And maybe think, what does Jesus say? And how do I need to listen and put that into practice? in my life. Let's pray this now and ask God to help us with this. Dear God, we thank you that you very clearly show us who Jesus is. Help us not just to know that in our minds, but help us to trust that, that we might listen, that we might hear and do what Jesus says. Help us to follow and love him, we ask in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Well, thanks for joining us today. It's been great to have you with us and we'll see you again soon.